In 2021, the world will be dealing with unhappy legacies from 2020, a devastating pandemic, an economic crisis unmatched since World War II, Donald Trump's deeply divisive presidency, and new wars that test the idea that crises have no military solutions. Here are International Crisis Group's 10 Conflicts to Watch. Compromise between Afghanistan's government and Taliban insurgents is the key variable in the country's peace process, but much also depends on how the US troop withdrawal is done. Too fast and the civil war could worsen, too slow and the Taliban could walk away from talks. Getting the drawdown wrong could cost Afghanistan its best chance at peace in a generation. Bloody combat in Ethiopia's Tigray region in late 2020 killed thousands and displaced more than a million. It highlighted the country's fault lines, particularly over its ethnic federal system, and the need for national dialogue to bridge them. 2020 saw the Sahel's protracted crisis worsen as inter-ethnic violence flared and jihadists extended their reach in Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. While military campaigns against jihadists are critical, Sahelian authorities and their foreign allies also need to take steps to calm communal frictions, potentially including talks with militants. Efforts by the US and Venezuela's opposition to squeeze President Maduro out of office have failed. Tough sanctions have worsened the plight of Venezuelans already experiencing a humanitarian disaster brought about by the government's economic mismanagement. It's time for a new approach, one that builds support for a negotiated transition rather than trying to force a sudden political rupture. Libya enters 2021 with an initially promising ceasefire, but troops loyal to the two rival governments remain dug in at the front lines and talks to bring the country back together under an interim unity government are stuck. Unless outside actors stop fueling the war and Libyan sides find a path to reconciliation, there is a risk of another bout of fighting. In Somalia, fraught elections loom as the war against Al-Shabaab enters its 15th year. Relations between the federal government and some of Somalia's regional leaders are tense. A contested vote could widen the gulf between Mogadishu and the regions, and would likely embolden Al-Shabaab. After five years of war, Yemen remains the world's worst humanitarian disaster. Famine is once again a real danger for millions of people. After more failures in peace negotiations, a fresh start is needed. The UN should include more major Yemeni actors in the talks. The Trump administration's maximum pressure policy failed. US sanctions crippled Iran's economy, but Tehran built its stockpile of nuclear material. Its missiles became more accurate. Broader Middle East tensions rose. The incoming Biden administration should rejoin the 2015 nuclear deal, but managing regional tensions will be a challenge. Russia and Turkey frequently back opposing sides on today's battlefields, as in Syria and Libya, or compete for influence, as in the Caucasus. Moscow and Ankara are not themselves at war and are adept at managing mishaps, but any falling out could exacerbate the conflicts where they are both entangled. The link between climate change and conflict risk is complex and indirect, but increasingly apparent from Africa to the Middle East and Latin America. The Biden administration has put climate at the top of its agenda. It must follow through and Western countries must make good on their $100 billion pledge to better equip the poorer countries hardest hit. These are Crisis Group's 10 conflicts to watch in the year ahead. We will be making every effort to bring peace to these and many other crises worldwide. <laughs>